Welcome back everyone to Zooter5. In the last episode, we learned that Deku Scrubs hate rabbits. Hate them. They want to kill every single last one in Hyrule. Maybe that's why we don't see any just natural rabbits in the ecosystem anymore. Deku Scrubs have just wiped them off the face of the planet. If there was a rabbit, not no more. Deku Scrubs pelted them to death with nuts on nuts on nuts. It's time to go visit our giant lump a lump Darunia. He loves two things, dancing, and you guys know the second one. If you're, if you're a real attacking 2Ks fan, you all know what Darunia loves. So the, oh wait, I forgot we need Saria's song to make him happy. Wait, he starts? Oh. Nah, he can't get behind that one. <laughs> yeah, he wants some different music. Understandable. Zelda's lullaby is not danceable at all. Well, look at his spear. The statue behind him is holding his spear for him. That's really cool. And if you didn't know, the statue behind him is named Brittany. Well, we have some more cows to play music to. Let's double check the Goron shop real fast. Yeah, the Goron shop had nothing. I knew this. I even wrote it down, but sometimes when you're in desperate need for items, you don't want to believe your notes. You want to, it's like checking your fridge after you know that the fridge has nothing good to eat. You just got to check it anyways, just in case the food fairy came and replaced it with something else. The food fairy never comes though. All right, Mr. Moo Moo Meadows, please. We are in desperate need of an item that unlocks progression. Cause I almost have no checks left to check. We're at the very end of our rope. I am counting on you, damn you. We've had to climb this mountain one too many times during this randomizer. I think this will be the last time though. None of the great fairies have been very good to us so far from what I remember. Are there any great fairies left to check that I can go to? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, Kepora, Kepora. I'm banking on you now. Take me to where the items are. No, not on top of the roof, what the heck? This is not where I wanted to go. Is there anything left to do as Young Link? I'm searching through all the file cabinets in my brain. There's a ton of little Tylers inside there scrambling around in all the Ocarina of Time filing cabinets, which there's way too many of up in my head. And it's not coming up with anything at the moment. All right, Link to the Future. Let's go. We have a Link to the Past game. We need a Link to the Future game. But instead of going ahead seven years, you go ahead like 70 years and you're in a wheelchair and you can't really do much. That sounds riveting. Oh, okay. So I was about to get Epona, but I just remembered for some reason, to torture myself more, I think I set it to where I have to unlock Epona manually by racing Ingo. Why did I do that? I, I don't even like the process of unlocking Epona. It's not that much fun. It's really frustrating in multiple ways. But we gotta do it. We need her. Well, we don't really need her, do we? The only thing she does is lets us travel across Hyrule Field faster, which would be nice. Oh, we need her for horseback archery. That's right. Okay, I guess we're unlocking Epona. And we also need her to do the big post side quest, which I am loathing. I'm really loathing that one, but we're gonna have to do it regardless. Okay, so we start off by paying Ingo to ride some horses. Then we play a beautiful, beautiful melody. 
This song lives in my head rent free every damn day. And that's the way to this steed's soul. <laughs> I almost like chopped her up in a horse jerky. Didn't mean to do that. And then for Ingo to recognize that you're riding her, I think you need to like circle around the fence a couple times. Like ride right past him and like make sure he realizes that you're the horse master. I don't know why I got a bloopy the second time I jumped that. But I will take it. Because I want to fill my tycoon wallet to the brim. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? We'll nap around the corral with that horse. I guess it costs us money to get her too. That bloopy doesn't mean anything after spending 50 rupees. Well, I guess it's, it's a small discount. Okay, we're gonna have to race him twice. Let's try to get ahead of him right here. And we gotta hold the lead. Smell my horse butt. Okay. What is the name of that really fluffy thing around Ingo's collar? I kind of want one. <laughs> Should I get one? Then have face cam for a Zeter 5 episode where I wear it. As you all know, Ingo was in cahoots with Ganondorf. And so he makes us race him again. So he doesn't get humiliated. And if we win, we get to keep the horse. Ooh. Smell my horse butt. Ooh. We got this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, now I can put Epona in the thumbnail. That's what I'm talking about. Burr, burr, burr. What's up with that horse? You tamed him right under my nose. And then he locks us in. Whatever will we do? I know. Epona got the hops. I just, she just like gutted herself on that spike. Well, rest in peace, Epona. At least we get some horse jerky. Just kidding. She's obviously fine. She's got a belly of steel. Okay, we can go back to Lon Lon Ranch to get something. I forget what we get. I know if we win whatever game is there, if we beat the high score, we get a free cow, which goes back to Link's house. And then we can play a Pona song too for the cow sanity prize. But before we do that, I'm going to head back up to Zora's Domain again real fast because there is, I think, still five more checks up in that area that we didn't get when we were there. Oops. But we'll do it now. Okay, the craziest thing is we have key sanity on and we haven't even been finding very many keys lately. Like, keys would be very helpful. Cause that's what's blocking our progress in almost all the dungeons. Wait a second. Are the beehives not here as an adult? <laughs> She's still telling us to beat the great Deku tree. They aren't. They're only here as a kid. Just let me have the boomerang, please game. Please, I'll do anything you ask. Except massage King Zora's butt cheeks. Have you seen those things? They're so small. He has the hugest torso ever, but the smallest cheeks you could ever imagine. So play. I won't do that. I refuse to do that. Not worth the boomerang. Nope. Sorry, King Zora. You gotta have some cold, numb, unmassaged cheeks. And that's just how it's gonna be. Dang, I thought I was about to get three more checks. So there's three beehives in here. But yeah, we still can't do them. All right, because we're super strong, we can pick up the giant rock. Whoa, there's pots down here. Heart container. Haven't seen one of those in a while. We have invisible spiders. This is 
It's one of the strangest locations in all of Hyrule to me. I played this game a ton as a kid, but this is one of the only areas I learned from watching Let's Plays. When I watched my very first Let's Play of Ocarina of Time, which was during spring break before I went into, I think it was spring break of my freshman year of high school. So like 2008, I think. So I've discovered this spider. How many years ago even was that? Too many, I don't want to talk about it. It's all the silver rupees to the fire trial in Ganon's castle. Dang. Wrong silver rupees. We can't even get to that room right now. Oh shoot, where are we landing? Okay, whew, there's water down here. But yeah, we can't get into Ganon's castle without the medallions. So that's a point in this the silver rupee collection. Did you guys know there's a grotto right here? It's not known to very many people. It's in such a random spot, but there's one right here. And it's just a fairy fountain. We don't need it since we have double defense. Back on our pony. It's giving Ocarina of Time title screen. We can't fast forward this though. It's our first full ride across Hyrule Field with Epona. This is a sentimental Zooter 5 certified moment. Oh, here we go. Might as well get the first one, right? Gotta start somewhere. Haha. -ha. We checked how many we needed, right? Wasn't it eight? I think it was eight. Yeah. -ha -ha. It always feels like a good day when Hyrule Feels music is in the background. Nintendo seriously needs to put its soundtrack on Spotify. Or release an, its own app that you can listen to all of its music on. I mean, technically, YouTube is like the same thing. But they would make way more money off of putting their music on Spotify. Like right now, they're losing so much money by having other people upload their music to YouTube. And having people listen to it there. And they can literally be uploading their music to Spotify and all the streaming services and whatnot and having people stream it and then getting stream royalties off their music. It, it honestly blows my mind they haven't done that because think of how much money they could be making. It's probably millions of dollars every month that they're missing out on from not doing that. And it's like, it's practically free money. Like all the work is done. Let's stop before we do target shooting game. We're gonna stop by here one more time. Well, not even one more time. We're still gonna have to come here in the future. They're getting so many double dips out of us for this training grounds. Okay, so to like finish, finish this entire area for good, we still need to find the iron boots and the megaton hammer and the rest of the silver rupees. Garuda Training Grounds is the final culmination of all the items. The final tests. Okay, this is a recovery heart. Disgusting. Gross. I spit it out of my mouth. Patui. Okay, that one's alright. That one was cooked a bit better. So many chests in here. A bigger seed bullet bag. Okay. That is an item. It's better than a recovery heart. So many doors. Please make it worth opening this many doors. I've done it too many times to get nothing from it. A Deku Nut upgrade! We upgraded our seed and our nut in the Gruta training grounds. Wow. Okay, Eponer. I'm not gonna sit on you with a boner. Cause that be weird when I'm your owner. Okay, I'll leave you a loner. <laughs> okay, let's just stop where we are and play one of the funnest mini games in Ocarina of Time. 
there's two prizes here, one for getting over 1,000 points and one for getting over 1,500 points. Starting off with the first one. And also, none of these pots have random items as well. I have checked. It's unfortunate, because that'd be a lot of loot. A lot of it. Give me the loot. I always have a distinct memory when playing this minigame. Whenever I was trying to beat this game as a kid, I had a, it was around Christmas time, and I had a bag of Hershey Kisses. And whenever I was hoping for an extra lucky round, I would pop a Hershey Kiss and use it to hopefully manifest a win for myself. And sometimes it would take a couple lucky Hershey Kisses, but I would eventually get it. We got to, oh, what? <laughs> I missed my intended target and hit the background target. That's what we love to see. Ooh, 100 right there, that's good. Yes, okay. We're starting off with more points than last time. Ooh, hoo, ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, what was that? What was that? You guys didn't see that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, what's up? 1670. You'd be darned, so darned that you give me the boomerang? Didn't that give me anything there? Practically means I have to do the big po hunt right now. Which is not what I was planning to do this episode, but I think they've left me no choice. Okay, second one should be by this tree. Yep. Now the thing that sucks the most is we can only get two at a time with our two bottles, so we're gonna have to make a trip back every time we catch two. I think it's eight, so we're gonna have to do four trips of this. And you also can't get the same two big pos twice. Once you've gotten one, it disappears, so you have to find all the locations. Okay, Mr. Red Dot. Yep, he wants 800 points. Here's your first one. He does give us intermediate prices, right? Yeah. Not randomized items, but it's more rupees. So we'll have like a full wallet by the end of this. I guess that's the one good thing that'll come out of it. Yup, yup. What does he have next to himself? Oh, he's been drinking. He's been drinking. The next big po I know takes some, some quick shooting. Come to this weird little overhang. Oh man, he fell away fast. Okay, I think if we wait for a moment, let's ride forward a bit. There he is, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You okay, Pona? You're neighing a lot. I think the next one is down by this tree. Yeah. Oh, there's the next one. Right outside the drawbridge. It was so close. Yeah. Why did I turn on the big po trading side quest? I mean, I randomized the big pose, so there was a chance for us to have to get like one or two. But now the randomizer chose violence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of a halftime show so we can go play Malon's horse racing game now because I want to win a free cow. Wow, I love her robotic AI sounding voice. <laughs> really ahead of its time. Can't miss a single fence. This is another one of those mini games where I would pop a Hershey kiss for good luck. It's all the opponent games. Those are the ones you need luck for. So those are the ones that like to screw you over. go gotta get the big fence yep that's how it's done and one more regular size fence we'll use this section to re it up okay we're not making great time but we are making a time I might not have been hugging the inner fence well enough give okay, it 10 more seconds come on come on Epona I believe in you. No! What was that? You chump! Oh my god. You failed. Okay, we got this. We got this. 
Yes! Blah. This is one of those mini games that always takes me a couple tries. I never get a first try. And. Yeah, she takes the prize back to our house. So, do I get it now? Yeah, let's go get it now. I, I still want to take a break from hunting big pose. Wait, can we jump out the side right now? Or is that only a thing when Ingo traps us in? This would be a great shortcut. Ah, yes. Oh, we get the cutscene again too? Magical. Get off my property! Gotta get myself some roundup. Come on, Link, just climb the ladder. You can do anything. I believe in you. Shunny? Here it is. I'm gonna name her Charles. But also, shout outs to Lactose. Does anybody remember Lactose from the Minish Cap Randomizer Let's Play? That was a great one. I miss Lactose. She was the best. Please, please. Uh, pain without love. Pain. I can't get enough pain. I like it rough. Cause I'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. I think there's one back by these trees. Yeah. Good night, quad son. Rest well. Thank you for blessing us today. The bounties are rich. Dude, we're spending so much time doing this. I pray. That is something good. Although it's just as equally a chance of having a green rupee or a recovery heart. That's the hardest part about all this. Just because the check takes 10 times the amount of time to do, doesn't make it any more likely to have a good item than the check that takes one second to do. How do I find this last one? Can I come along the edge of this? Yep. Whew. And that's it, folks. We got it. We've done all eight. I'm honestly surprised there's not a randomized option for every single big po. Because they could be 10 possible prizes, which would make it way more interesting. I wouldn't mind big po hunting if every single po gave us a prize. And for the last one, the grand finale. Ooh, at least we filled our wallet up. I guess that kind of makes it worth it. Come on, come on. Yeah, forest temple key. All right, all right. At least that leads to some progression. It's not the best item, but it is something that allows us to go forward. Now we have two keys for the forest temple. That's pretty cool. Um, let's end the episode off in the forest temple. And while we're going to the forest temple, gotta have a common question of the day. What is your favorite mini game in the Legend of Zelda series? Out of all the Legend of Zelda games out there, what is your favorite mini game? Leave your comments below and we'll talk about it in a future episode. You know how we do it here. Okay, we should probably go in the room first when it's curvy. Or, I think we wanna go ahead and shoot the eye first now that I think about it. I think it'll save some time doing it this way. So let's straighten it out, Sergeant. Is Navi here to warn me against wall masters? I know about them, Navi. I've played this game too many times. Wow, we're back to rupees going into the waste basket. I'm not even sure if there's anything else for me to spend my rupees on. Was there any more shops in Shop Sanity that had stuff? I feel like I've already cleaned out all the shops. 
There might be a couple things left in the Kakariko shop as an adult. Oh, here we go, here we go. Two tokens for me? 67. Nothing in there. How is the music for this temple so good? It's so creepy, but so good. How did that not kill all of them? No grabby grabby today. No touchy. No touch. that all the wasted money again <laughs> is there nothing else for me to spend money on this game be lacking in the spending department all right time to make the hallway all topsy turby dun, 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 dun. such a cool effect i still can't believe this is one of the first 3d games ever made it was being so inventive <laughs> it's wild do I think as I go to the next door after this? I don't know if I get to or not. Poe's have such an ugly laugh. Like, name something with an uglier laugh than a Poe. Better not say me. I know my laugh isn't ugly. I kind of have a cute laugh. I know so because I hear it a lot on a recording. And every time I laugh and I hear it on recording, I'm like... <laughs> That's so cute. Ha! Ah, taking rid of you fast. Big Goron sword plus Deku nuts. That's good. That's good. Okay, we do get to go one more room forward, but I think the next room is the last one. Unless we find another key? <gasps> For the spinning scythe room in the ice cavern. Ooh! One more and we can go deeper into the ice cavern. Which there's quite a few things in the back room. I think there's like three freestanding room. <gasps> Ooh, pots. That's what I like to see. Hey, don't be ruining this for me. So let me get my pots in peace. That's right. Come on, let me get my pots. <laughs> for a second, I thought they didn't load. I was like, what happened? It was really delayed. Come on. Ah, takes only two hits? That's great. I remember when this used to be a challenge back in the day. Trying to kill the second one before the other one came back to life. Alright, these are the last checks for the episode. So everybody, pull your underwear up to your nipples and wish for the best. No. Oh wait, no, we can go forward a little bit further. Okay, we'll be able to kill the Poe after this, too. There's a little bit more to look forward to. Heart piece. Big boy, big boy. This randomizer hasn't given me, like, anything good in what feels like so long. Oh, were there pots in the other room? I don't think I saw any. Why would this room have pots and not that one? Oh, another spirit temple key. Okay, we can go further in spirit temple now. That's nice. I would like to get the Requiem of Spirit first, though, so we can teleport back there rather than having to run all the way through the desert again. Yeah, this room doesn't have any pots. No love for the first Poe room. It has two sound effects. The making fun of me laugh and the laughing in pain laugh. It doesn't cry, it just laughs it off like a freaking psychopath. Oh, I just made it. Nope. No invisibility for you. Okay, now this is the last check of the episode. Yay! 
And yep, door locked. That's it for Forest Temple. See you all next time. But that option flew away. Take the time to hear me out Everything is fine